Welcome to Get Started with Lightroom CC, Adobe's beginner tutorial series designed to help you use Lightroom CC, which is Adobe's cloud-centric photo service that's a complete package for editing, organizing, storing, and sharing your photos. Now, Lightroom CC is not just an app. Instead, it's an ecosystem, or you might think of it as a family of apps that you can use across different devices, computers, mobile devices, the web, even Apple TV. And here's the point to remember when you're trying to get a grasp on how it all works. The whole Lightroom CC ecosystem revolves around one central point, the cloud. The cloud-centric nature of Lightroom CC is what makes it unique and allows it to offer you special advantages. The thing you'll notice right off the bat is that your photos and the changes that you make to them are everywhere. Every photo that you add to Lightroom CC on a mobile device, a computer, or a web browser automatically uploads at full resolution to the cloud. And because all your photos are in the cloud, you can view and work with them everywhere that you use Lightroom CC, as long as you're logged in with your Adobe ID. So, the same photos that you see here in Lightroom CC on my computer are automatically here on my iPhone, too. And here, in Lightroom CC in a web browser. And if I edit a photo or organize it into an album on any of these devices, that change automatically syncs through the cloud to Lightroom CC on all my other devices. I could even run Lightroom CC on another computer and access my same photos, which means that I can work on the same photos in Lightroom CC on a desktop and a laptop, or on a machine at home and one at work. I'll walk you through some of these scenarios later in this tutorial series, but for now, just keep in mind that it's the cloud at the center of Lightroom CC that allows all of this to happen. Another benefit of all your photos being in the cloud is that Adobe can apply its amazing artificial intelligence and machine learning technology to make it easier to find photos that you're looking for based on what's in a photo. Later in this tutorial series, I'll show you how that works. And because all your full resolution photos are in the cloud and all your edits are non-destructive of those photos, you can rest assured that you have an automatic backup of all your original photos without having to worry about where to store them and how to manage them across storage drives. So that's a quick overview of Lightroom CC's cloud-based system and what it can do for you. In the rest of this course, we'll spend some time looking at the Lightroom CC desktop app, mostly because it's the newest piece of the Lightroom ecosystem. The good news is that it works a lot like Lightroom CC on your other devices too, so much of what you learn here applies to Lightroom CC on mobile and the web as well. One last thing, don't mix up the relatively new Lightroom CC with the Lightroom that's been around for years now. That one is now called Lightroom Classic CC. Lightroom Classic CC is alive and well, and it offers an alternative desktop-centric workflow based on files and folders that you manage yourself. And you can choose which is best for your needs, Lightroom CC's modern cloud-centric workflow or Lightroom Classic's desktop-centric workflow. So now let's jump in to take a closer look at Lightroom CC.